Hello and welcome everyone. So it's Saturday and it's time for another shave. So today's review is going to be focusing around this one. The Yaki 24mm brush. I get sort of, it resembles to me when I look at it. I think about the Plasov brush, which you could get. Uh, also the Samoog brushes, which is similar kind of in, in design. Synthetic knot. Very much looking forward to seeing how that performs. If you're welcome to the channel, I welcome your company. And please, if you like the video, subscribe and check out the other things. If you are new, not new, I still welcome that your company is here and uh, that you're watching the video. So what else are we using? I'm using the Mule R41. I'm using the Balsano Blade. Bird use. If it's a success, then I'll move on and do another blade review next week. Then it's done in its full purpose. So, this one, Nordic Shaving Company with pine and menthol. Um, menthol and pine, it says. Croup, we'll be scooping out, leaving it in the, chicken, the, the signature bowl. The runes, the Viking bowl. Pre-shave. It's going to be brass or white with added eucalyptus oil to take away the bad scent. Um, yeah. Aftershave. Petrolon. Pine scented. And a little drink to go along the way. Look at that. Skull! Look at the lather. So, we lathered up. I had to pause the video there for a second because my son needed help. Um, perhaps I am going to be cutting in a few, cutting out a few sections if he needs help again. So, um, yeah, I used this soap for about a month ago. Go check out the review that I did of that. And uh, obviously, I had misjudged and forgotten how much to use because, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um, I had forgotten how much to use, and it's only the second time that I use it, so I'll, I'll use that as, as, as an excuse. The brush performed great, whipping up the lather in no time, whipping it to a very foamy consistency into a very nice, creamy consistency. Look at all this lather, I mean, it's just way more than I need. All right, so we're... Going to put this to the face, and we're going to be scrubbing it in nice grip. Um, there's some soap on there now that makes it a bit slippery, but it has a good backbone. I'll be telling you more about that as I do the scrubbing here. Mm -hmm. 
And yes, I like to allow the rock even here as well, even though I do not need. It's nice if I need more lava that there is some there, even though this is. So let's do some scrubbing here. Yeah, good backbone on this one. It's a, it's been, first of all, how are you? I hope you're nice, hope you're well, hope you're healthy, and that you are happy. Some non nice medfall feeling, cooling on the skin right now. Okay. Lather all over my fingers. And So this week, I must be honest, it's been completely dreadful. Oh, very cooling on the skin right now, also with the eucalyptus in the pre-shave. We'll heat, heat up, wet this because I'm eating cold water shaving, as I usually do. Let's go. Um, and uh, not ready to talk about it yet, but it's been a horrible week. Um, so it's nice to get a shave on, talk to you. And this is simply medicine for the skin and mind to shave like this, I must say. Mule R41 is efficient, aggressive, but at the same uh, time, Smooth. So I once, and not that long ago, I did a video on what I would expect myself to do in 2023. And I said that I would be trying to invest, perhaps, perhaps, in the new Model T, not new, but the Model T2. But now there's a new model out there. Crazy money. But I'm like, I'm patient enough to make a plan. I actually think that I'm going to be getting it. Uh, not right away, obviously, because it's, as I said, crazy for $250. But then again, it's all stainless. It's a one-time purchase. If you take care of it, it'll last you generations. And that's what I kind of like. And I'll have a razor, and I know I'll, I'll have the same the same sort of lifespan with the uh, Flexi. Um, perhaps the stainless steel is going to outlast that in the end, but nice residual slickness as well. Let's lather up in all this lather structure here. So yeah, the wife and daughter is out. Getting new clothes, ringing on the ball bell, they're back. Um, spending money. It's not payday yet, so that's going to give me some grievances. What do you think about the new T2 model and the stainless steel idea and all across the globe? Mm 
So, let's see. Print out nicely. See, I like that idea. It's the T2 stainless steel idea. So, I actually think I'll, if it's possible, I'll save up for that. So, nice and close. Okay. Third application. We'll dial it up for the third pass. And uh, also, a reason for this save the frost is back. And um, I'll be leaving some photos for you whilst I do this last pass. Enjoy. Pass. Nicely done. I'll do a face wash and I'll see you at the post shave. So that was very nice. Face wash. And um, <clears throat> now, if you've watched the previous video, this is what we made. This is witch hazel, rose water, eucalyptus, and tea tree oil. And it's turned into a milky consistency. Great for the skin. Great for your post shave routine. So we leave that sitting in while we go over what we used. Mule R41. Aggressive, balsamic blade, bird use, got a bit tuggy, last pass, so this is his final use. But good blades. Pre shave, also white with eucalyptus. Nordic Shaving Company, menthol and pine, great scent, great cooling effect. And we used, <laughs> I used too much product, way too much. So a little goes a long way. The start of the show, this one. The Yatke 24mm knob. Great backbone, great brush, nice grip. Um, yeah. I'm happy. Recommendable. So that's it for today, everyone. We'll put on a post shave, and then I'll see you on Tuesday. This is pine and menthol as well. Comes like. Nice, fresh scent. That's it, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. And we'll see you on Tuesday. But stay safe. Goodbye.